Forsythia. When will the Forsythia deck railings end? Branches rebel flying chaos, but flex. They do not splinter. Great company. The lumps. Glibly whining. Verbal prong trotted down a mountain trail. An Edom pale sunlight amidst stone snow laced peaks. Doused our hair and faces with our water bottles. We fill, <clears throat> excuse me, from glacier fed streams. Saturated, we look like drowned cats, attempting to cool from malevolent heat. Past Jersey cows grazing, the creatures just were, their bells clonging, tails pendulums. Great and small, Spider pauses on her silk nexus, considering the wet pelting her abdomen, eight legs, frenzied, scuttle under an aluminum ledge. Golden mushroom, an umbrella for ants and minuscule grates of the forest floor. White barnacles on water lubricated rocks. Whether or not the tide should bring them plankton, they wound and cling. Clenched sky, the limp sun, blocked by mustard clouds. Tree limbs, a web, masquerading the peak of the totem pole. This one is, um, metaphoric for a couple I know. The sun and the moon. The sun gaffed a yellow torrent. Moon wife mirrored his glimmer. She silently revolved, caught in the moment of the sun's light. I still bled for his pallid satellite. And then, um, the remainder of these poems are from Cycling of the Dragon. Word babies, skin aflame in dire need of dowsing, needles lodged in pores, head of strumming drum, emerging from the canal, alts like you, a swarm of siblings, a throng of reading witnesses, nodding their heads, newborn cells resurface, injured building blocks, sinews unclenched. That's a little something about the writing process. Not all the time, but sometimes. And this is the thematic uh, poem of the book, um, Virtue of Smallness. Shattered clamshell fragments, pave the crescent shore. Loose mosaic tiles, barnacle cone houses, and soft skinned bladder rock bulbs. Pinky wide to the big toes of hard headed clams. Your scars are unbroken by ocean's hammer fist. And this poem, Guardian Angel, is dedicated to my dad. Um, he's 87 years old, and recently he's had um, a turn in his health. It's been very erratic, and um, I've been thinking about him a lot because he may not live much longer. and. Um, for me, growing up, he was always my guardian angel, so this is dedicated to him. Guardian angel, wrapped in shrouded darkness, I see saw upright in my top bunk. Hot curds hurtle from my depths, incinerate my throat's mucosal lining. Dumps a swamp on my blanketed lap, stink puts me on high alert. Neon arms of my clock read 3.20 a.m. Dad floats in my gaping door. Wordlessly, he gathers up my putrid blanket, fluffs out feather comfort over my small body. His wing spurs cross the sky.